I get excited when I renew a magazine subscription. I get excited when I buy a large bottle of shampoo. I get excited making plans to see my friends. All of those things, because all of those things say that I have a future. My name is Mary Elizabeth Williams. I'm a writer and I have two daughters. When they were aged six and 10, I was diagnosed with cancer for the first time. I discovered that I had a little scab on my head. My oncologist told me I was going to lose a five centimeter circle from the top of my head. And I said, okay, but I have basketball tickets the next day, so how's this going to affect all of that? About a year later, on a CAT scan, there were some spots on my lungs. I had a subdermal tumor, and that's when I was told I was stage four. If melanoma metastasizes uh, to a distant organ, uh, or even to other sites on the skin, um, it can be uh, a very difficult problem to treat. It was the beginning of the school year, and I didn't know if I was going to be there for the end of it. When I got my diagnosis, the only thing I wanted was to get through it, and I didn't care what we had to do. When my doctor first told me about the option of a clinical trial, I was incredibly skeptical, but I also knew this was really my one chance. This is just targeted therapy that uses your own body's defenses, and it makes sense. Mary Elizabeth Williams was in the first cohort of patients that we treated with this combination. She came back for her second or third visit and said, you know, I think that this lump on my side is actually going away. It was incredible. I didn't want to believe it. The tumor on my lung had gone completely, and the tumor on my back had completely receded. And my life changed that night, and it's been a new life ever since. And my daughter's birthday was the next day, and it was the best gift that any of us ever got. I really believe that immunotherapy is what holds the promise for durable control, not just of melanoma, but of many cancers. The CRI, of course, has supported the science underpinning much of this, and now is able to explore these new therapies in clinical trials that we propose and design very quickly. For 60 years, our scientists have worked relentlessly to unlock the secrets of the immune system with the goal of understanding how to use its power against cancer. After decades of laboratory studies and clinical trials, we now have new treatments that are producing real successes. And this is just the beginning. I think that we can strive to achieve a world where no one dies of cancer. Definitely, we're on the fast track. Immunotherapy offers the greatest hope of transforming cancer treatment in our lifetimes. Cancer Research Institute makes that happen sooner. We cannot do this alone, um, and that's why support from CRI is vital to the way that we need to take care of patients on clinical trials. Sharing in the, the, the human joy of seeing someone have their life back is the most that I could ever hope for. There's no question in my mind that immunotherapy saved my life. What I'm looking forward to is the day that I'm playing with my grandchildren and they ask what it was like back when people got cancer and there wasn't much you could do about it. And I'm gonna tell them that I was part of something that helped change that. And that I was there at the beginning of the end of this.